Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully designed the create post form and also we are able to capture the capture the details in the create whatever the details entered in the post form. So let's try to see it again. Add post. So fine, right? Now our goal is our requirement is whatever the user enters in the add post form, we need to submit that post automatically in the backend and when, when as soon as successfully this uh, post is submitted, we need to show it at the bottom here. Why? Because the post is already added, right? So we need to show it in the bottom here so that if we click here, we need to show the post details. So this is the requirement. So first what we need to do is, so whenever as soon as this post is submitted, so we need to populate it down here. So let's try to see the output. Now here, let's if we go here into this add post component.ts. So here is the add post, right? How we can achieve this one? So only through the subject. So now let's where we need to create, whether we need to create in the component or in the service, we need to create in the service. Why? Because so whenever we a post is submitted, we need to update the all posts. So post with category, something like post with category. We are able to have, right? So this one we need to update with the latest post. So now here, let's try to create a subject. Now what I will be trying to take is, so instead of creating it as a private post add subject like this, I will create, so we need to do add, update and delete also, right? So I will write, I will create instead of this one, crud, crud, okay? So why? Because so uh, for each add, update and delete, for three of these things, so this subject will be involved. So instead of creating one by one uh, duplicate thing, so I am creating one subject. So this could be of type new subject. And now we need to know the difference between when the subject is called means so then we need to know that whether it is an add operation or update operation or delete operation right so we need to know we need to know then what i need to do then what i will try to do is let's go to this post and i will create a new interface so export interface so i will be creating crud action okay so of type t so why i am creating of type t is now this could be a post thing for example in your application you may have posts, uh, you need to update the add, update, delete the post, add, update, delete the categories, comments, everything, whatever the thing you want to do, you need to do the CRUD operation, right? For each and everything, you are, instead of creating the interface for that one, so I am taking it generic. T. T means it can be a post, it can be a category, it can be a comment or anything, it can be anything, so which involves the CRUD action. So here, first, first one, you will be having a action. So what is the type of action we need to mention? So here I can, you will be having three things that is nothing but add, update and delete, okay. Let's assume and last one will be the data. So it should be of type T. So whatever the data you will be trying to send, it should be of type T. This is the interface sample, so generic interface. So now this subject will be taking this interface. So it will be taking in a such a way that it has to be of CRUD action okay let's import this crud action and here in this crud action it should the t should be of type i post so we are dealing with the post right so that is the reason i am adding i post so sorry so here we got some issue not issue so here we need to create subject and here i need to create something like this that's it so this will take crud action of i post now let's create observable from this one. So if I try to create observable post crud action dollar okay is equal to this dot post crud subject dot next okay dot next sorry dot next why okay dot next as observable. So this is of type observable right. So up to here finish. Now you will be having here add post. So this is add post and I will, it will take a parameter of i post, okay. And this add post is responsible for invoking the post crud object. So here I will be having post crud subject Sorry, dot. Sorry, didn't get that. The internet isn't reachable. Post crud subject dot. So that's it, that is my Alexa, sorry. Post crud object dot next. So in this one next, what I need to do is 
So post crud subject dot next and here I need to pass the crud action, right? So this is add post. So we know that action should be and here you will be able to get the options. So where, what is the action I need to add it? So for example, let's take this one as so add delete or update. What is the type? So it is our type add and here I need to pass the data. It is of type post. That's it. Okay. So here we are sending this post, right? So that's it. So now let's go to the all post dot component dot ts and here we need to sorry all not all post add post dot component dot ts and in this one so instead of calling this one let's try to inject the post service private post service it is after declarative okay post so it I need to import the declarative post service let's import this declare sorry what happened so I am importing the component so declarative post service yeah declarative post service so I have import declarative post service in this add post I will call this dot post service okay so this dot post service dot so why uh, we need to call this add post add post will take the value so what is the value it will try to take so it will take the i post right so we have the i post this dot post form dot value okay so my system is became very slow i don't know why it has become slow so but this is the post form dot value and we are able to get this post form dot value so that's it so now we are submitting this add post so that in this declarative post service dot ts file so what is happening here so what is happening here this one uh, what we can say post uh, post credit subject will be invoked now what i want to do is so here i will create a method in a such a way that all posts okay so we i am creating a new property all posts and here we need to combine the posts with the post cred action so we should not combine here we should merge the thing so why because post cred action will not be invoked i will show you why so we need to invoke them we need to call the merge okay so which one i need to merge i need to merge this dot post with category okay and another one is that this dot post post what i can say post cred action okay so but this post cred action will it will uh, it'll have a written type of cred action right so now here i can do something like pipe and here I will be having a map and I will be using the map. So let us import this map. So hope map is imported. So data and I will try to return the data. Okay, let us try to see. So map, I will try to return the data. If we try to hover here all posts, so what is the type it is telling? So I do not know. So it is of type observable of unknown it is saying. So what I can do here is so here what we can do is so why it is telling observable of unknown so written of data okay so this is post category it will be invoking i post and this post cred action it is importing okay and this one it is telling that observable of unknown so okay fine so what i will try to do is here i can do the pipe operator and i can do the map and this data should be of data dot data so i need to uh, send it data dot data and also that to an array of data data why because post with category will be sending array of posts and here we will also send it as data of data okay so that's it so now if you try to hover here you will be able to see that it is of type so let's save this one so why it is taking so much of time so if i hover here if i try to see it is of type observable of i post so array of i post right now let's go to the alt post component dot ts file and instead of taking posts with category, I will take all posts. Okay. So that's it. So now let's try to see all posts. So whether we can get the output or not. If we hover here, we are able to, if, if I refresh here, so let's try to refresh it. I am able to get the output, right? So now if I try to click on add post, then also you are able to see. So now I am giving some random values to submit the post. 
So if I click on add post, see this add post automatically has appended here. That is just because of this all post merge thing. But what we need to do, so we should not, we should not call, we should not simply paste it here. We should, we need to append to the all post. So we are removing the older post and we are adding it as a new post, but we need to append it. So what I can do here, so that is just what we, where we need to do is, we need to do it here in this one. So instead of returning this one, I can use the scan operator so that it will remember, scan operator will remember the scan operator. So let's try to import it scan operator. Okay. So scan operator will remember the older va value. So that means the whatever the merge operation posts with categories uh, you will be getting the data, it will be remembering those values. So what I can do here, so in the first one you will be getting the post and in the second one you will be getting the value. So which is of type, so that is also array of post only and here what I will try to do is, so here you will be having, so default value as I post array, okay, so that's it. And here instead of sending this one, so what I will try to do is, so I will append the post and also I will append the value also. So let's try to see the output. So this is the thing I have did. Now let's try to see the output. So if you try to see the output, so let it refresh. Okay, we got some error. So nothing. So it will refresh. Okay, if we try to click on add post, I am adding the same, I am adding it here. So now we have clicked on the electrical. If I click on add post, see, automatically at the end, it is able to attach it here. But what we are uh, trying to do, but we are simply doing the angular manipulation, but we are not submitting it into the backend server. So we need to submit it to the backend server and then we need to append it here. And as soon as if we refresh here, so now the value will go away. Why? Because we didn't submit it in the backend. So the value will go away. Now when we clear, refresh it here, it will come, data will come automatically. Why? Because we have submitted it into the backend. So in the next video, what we will try to do is, we will submit it into the backend so that if we refresh also, we will be able to get the data. Okay. Hope you understood this one about this merge operator, what I have did. And I also I will try to explain you about this CRUD action also. So when we are doing this update and delete also, you will try to understand why I have did like that. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.